Well, hello again, YouTube. My name is Hans, and welcome to my channel and to this episode of Darktable Insights. Darktable is one of the best free tools for organizing and editing your photos. And if you're new to this channel, it's meant to be an easy to understand introduction to Darktable on a beginner to inter intermediate level. Today's topic is sharpening. Sharpening is a very delicate subject. It should be used with great care and mostly to give a little bit of extra pop to already reasonably sharp images. It may be tempting to over sharpen in order to fix bad focus or uh, motion blur from camera shake. But this would be a, but this would be like uh, restoring detail that isn't really there, so it should be avoided. There are three ways to apply sharpening in Darktable. Sharpen, Equalizer and High Pass Filter. They work in different ways, but they give very similar results. Therefore I don't want to, therefore, I don't want to say anything about when to use which method. You should learn them all and uh, decide for yourself in each situation. Also, for the absolute best results, sharpening should be done with a final resolution in mind. So a small image for Instagram would be sharpened differently from a full-size image for printing. We'll uh, start out with the equalizer today. And here you can see uh, one, one of the benefits of the equalizer. You see these uh, bars here, these vertical bars, they indicate the the smallest details that are visible at this uh, at the current zoom level. So uh, up here you have the finest details in the image as as a total, and down here where the where the last bar stops, that's the finest detail visible at this zoom level. So you can see if you zoom in to a hundred percent get this to update then the bars go all across and if we uh, say we if, if we uh, zoom out we can hold down control and scroll the, scroll the mouse wheel then you zoom out as far as this, and then you can see the the rightmost bar has gone a bit further to the left. So now this is the finest detail. Drag this up, and you can see the sharpening. But if you drag this one up all the way, and you don't see anything. So this way, if, if you uh, sharpen for a small outputs, let's say for Instagram, then maybe this is the right level to to uh, sharpen at. And then you can drag up the control here to get it really sharp. And if we now zoom into 100%, you can see that at that level it's not really good at all. So if you turn off equalizer, it actually, it actually looks sharper because this will be more like uh, like a local contrast and not like sharpening. Instead, if we uh, reset this, I did that by double clicking the curve, and then we instead take the end point of the curve. And drag it up. Then you can see good sharpening at this level. So you can drag it actually you can drag it all the way up. So that's the way to sharpen with the equalizer. Of course if you prefer you can follow up by drying up 
the solar points a little bit but in my opinion it's it's normally not very a very good thing to do I think you should in instead drag them individually according to the resolution of your output image so then we have the sharpen module which is the most I think the most intuitive to use it has three controls radius amount and threshold and here the radius is uh, like the scale of the details you want to sharpen so if you put it up then you sharpen coarser details this is also to be used when sharpening for a smaller output I think for a full size output when you use uh, 100% zoom then you should then you should limit your radius to 1 that gives the best result and then you can take the amount and actually drag it all the way up so you see the smallest details get sharpened here's without it and here's with it and when you do this it's very hard to over sharpen because it's it's limited how much you can do so you need if you need more then you can then you can uh, make a, you can duplicate this instance so now we have now we have the double and you can pull it back because this is too much there might be but in most cases I just use one instance so I can delete this and we turn off the sharpen module so high pass filter is the last one we'll visit turn it on and the image turns to black and white and the edges are are enhanced so what we do is we drag down the sharpness slider so we only see the smallest details bring it down to six six or seven percent that's the smallest you can have and then you can take contrast boost which is the same as as amount in the sharpen module bring it down say around 20 per 20 percent is usually good then we blend uniformly with uh, a uh, overlay blend mode so now if we turn it off this is without sharpening and this is with sharpening and then I thought that we might compare all of these methods to each other so if we turn off this we start with equalizer just turn up the fine detail all the way and then we take a uh, snapshot the equalizer so I turn off the equalizer and go to sharpen radius 1 amount 2 turn it on and take a snapshot of it then we can compare these two with the with the high pass filter so if we turn it off and turn on whoops something isn't updating correctly here
There we are. Okay, if we now now we have the uh, high pass filter here. If we bring up the equalizer snapshot. Now the high pass is on the right and the equalizer is on the left. I don't know if this goes through YouTube compression, but I can see that the equalizer is slightly sharper. I think even if we apply a bit more sharpening then it doesn't have fine enough detail so even even with more sharpening I think that uh, that equalizer is better it just looks over sharpened with the high pass filter There is about the same, but equalizer is a little bit cleaner with finer detail. And if we switch over to sharpen filter, this also is a little bit sharper than uh, high pass. If we go back to the equalizer and we turn off high pass and turn on sharpen and we can compare those two and they are very similar I can barely see a difference on the boat you can just see it up on the root here that sharpen filter is it's not getting sharper, but it's more contrast. But I still like the equalizer module best. I think it gives the most natural result. And I guess that's my, my conclusion from this. That's, that the equalizer might be the best sharpening tool but still you should learn them all and you should uh, see for yourself so we turn off all of this and also there's there's one other thing that I forgot to mention in the sharpen module it's this uh, threshold uh, adjustment what this does is to apply a threshold at, at which the sharpening kicks in. And the point is to protect noise from being sharpened. So you can see if we if you see down here in the water, there should be a little bit of noise. And if we take the threshold all the way down, then the noise starts to come in. If we put it up again, then, then the noise isn't sharpened. So that's that's the benefit of uh, the sharpen module. Those other two doesn't have this, except that of course you have noise reduction in the equalizer. So it might be just about the same. Anyway, you should always noise reduce before you sharpen. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one, where I'll talk about the mask manager. If you like this channel, then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an episode. I'd also be very happy if you check out my other outlets online. All links are in the description. And if there's anything special you want me to talk about, then please let me know in the comments. So see you next time. Bye.